Hello guys, this is Teapot Guides and in this tutorial what I'm going to be doing is explaining the difference between classes and objects and then we're going to go into a bit into coding. Um, I just want to show you guys how to declare um, objects and uh, how to um, use objects within your code. Um, before I do that, let's talk about the difference. The difference um, is straightforward. I know some guys um, a lot of people get confused by the difference between classes and objects but it's actually not that hard um, what we need to remember and think of classes as templates and um, objects as instances of these classes um, a normal uh, Java programmer what they do what they tend to do is they tend to uh, break down let's say they're working on an application what they would do is every function every function inside that application they will break it down into classes and inside these classes they would have all the methods and data that relate to that function uh, they, that's what they would do and then um, what they think about is uh, when they're working on new applications they sometimes tend to use these classes uh, as well if they the functions of these classes meet the new requirements of the new application uh, the way they use these um, classes is by um, making instances of these classes and um, uh, what, what they are their objects the the instances are called objects of uh, the classes and the reason why they do that is because they don't really want to mess up the classes that they've uh, created before uh, so they tend to do their objects and th then these objects they um, add new code to it add uh, new functions to it um, and s so that the classes are well defined and the objects are defined for that specific need within this new application what I'm going to be doing now is going into the coding and show you guys how to um, declare a object for a class okay the code in here what we need to think here just just think that we've got a class called car and this class has um, variables and it also has a method called uh, car inside it what we're gonna do now is we're gonna declare um, a object of that class an instance of the class car so the way you guys need to do that is um, you'll say car and then what you do is let's say the instance is called bicar so instance means copy of it called bicar and then what you need to do is say bicar this is the initialization bit bicar is equal to new car and then um, this is how you initialize it and then if you was um, let's say to set a value to a variable let's say um, let's say boolean running equals big car running so what we've done here is basically because we've made an instance of um, our class called car uh, now this big car also has um, a method uh, called is running so here on this uh, boolean running what we're doing is we're setting the value of is running to running um, so every time you make an instance of a class you need to remember that all the methods of that class are also transferred to this new object that you've declared and in initialized uh, this top bit is really important without that um, the object that you created would mean nothing so you need this initialization bit as well 
okay guys uh, thank you for looking at this tutorial please subscribe and um, see you guys in the next tutorial